In a series circuits, all the components are connected in one single loop. Here's an example. These two light bulbs are connected in series to a cell. The disadvantage of using a series circuit is that if one of these bulbs breaks, the circuit becomes incomplete so that none of the components would work. In a series circuit, the current is the same everywhere in the circuit. If a current of 2 amps is going through this bulb, then there must also be 2 amps of current here. The potential difference is supplied by the cell. If this is a 6 volt cell, the 6 volts is shared between the two bulbs. Since these are identical bulbs, each bulb has 3 volts across it. But if we swap this bulb out for another component, let's say a resistor that has 4 volts across it, then the bulb will have 2 volts. They always add up to the potential difference of the cell. Let's look at two resistors in series. To find the total resistance of these two resistors, you have to add their individual resistance together. So replacing these resistors with one big resistor, that has the same effect on the circuit as these two resistors together. Here's a question to test your understanding of series circuits. Here's a series circuit with a cell and a bulb. What happens to the brightness if I add another identical bulb in series? Both bulbs will become dimmer than they would be if they were by themselves. That's because their total resistance is now higher, so the current going through them is less. Or you can think of the potential difference of the cell now needs to be shared between two bulbs. Here's a summary. In a series circuit, Current is the same at all points. Individual resistance add up to give the total resistance. And the potential difference of a cell is shared between all components within the circuits. 